Like I mentioned last time we were together, today we're going to take a little bit of a break from just focusing on writing letters, and we're going to be talking about joining our side stroke letters. So we've talked a lot about the different strokes involved in our cursive letters. Today we'll be focusing on the side stroke. So if you will open your book to page 87, we're going to go ahead and get started on our cursive practice for today. And I totally closed my camera, guys. Hang on. There we go, Mrs. Thomas and fail. Okay, here is my page 87. And we are going to read what it says at the top. But basically, they're going to give us some letters to practice with that all use the side stroke. The letters O, W, B, and V must join the next letter near the middle line. The middle line is the dotted blue line. This changes the beginning stroke of the next letter. And we have definitely seen that happen already as we've been practicing. Trace and write the joined letters and words. So we'll be practicing just some letters by themselves like V and E. And then we're going to put it into a word like dive. And all they really want us to see here is that normally the letter E would start from the bottom and loop around. And we've already seen when we start practicing and letters start connecting, it changes the way our letters start sometimes. E can't start from the bottom because V ends in a side stroke. So we end up having this connecting line pretty close to the dotted line and it doesn't go all the way back down to the bottom. Okay, so this is not something brand new. It's just something we're going to take a second and look at. V, E, this is how they'll connect. We'll trace in practice. Up and over. Remember, your V makes kind of a U shape at the bottom. And then we don't want something straight across. And we don't want something that comes all the way back down. We want something that kind of happens in the middle. And you should clearly be able to see that this is an E and this is a V. Nothing happening to connect them should change the shape of the letters. They're connecting and starting in different ways, but the shape of the letter still remains the same. V. Okay, let's practice it in a word. I think it's a little bit easier when we practice it in a word like we would write in real life. So this one is dive, D, I, up and over V. And then we go straight into the E. Okay, I'm gonna show you another bad one, so don't do this. D, I, up and over E. Do you guys see how these two letters look different? It looks sloppier. I have a hard time telling what that's really supposed to be. I need my V shape to stay the same, and that's not what I see here. That's why we're practicing this. Okay, going to do another bad one. D, I, up and over V, E. This is not awful, but my E is supposed to be below the dotted line. And yes, it matters because that's the way it's supposed to be written. And this is not a real letter. Okay, let's try it the right way. D. I, V, somewhere in between E. Awesome. Let's try another example, B and R. I think that B is a tough letter, and I think that R is a tough letter. 
So let's take our time looking at this. I see a B and an R. And then I see a connection. So kind of the same idea. We don't want to go straight across the blue line and we don't want to dip all the way down to the red line. It needs to be somewhere in between. We loop like an L. We go about to the dotted. And our B kind of makes a rounded B shape, but not like we're used to with print. It's not that rounded. R. B, R, B, R, B, go straight to the dotted through that little dip. It makes our little slanty line and wrap around. Our practice word is brave. I'm going to do it the right way. I'm going to show you some examples of the wrong way, and then by the end, we'll practice the right way again. You do not have to practice the incorrect examples. I just want you to be able to look at your own handwriting and make sure that you're not making these mistakes. B, straight into the R, A, V, E, and we just practice that V, E, so make sure that that is looking correct. Okay, here's what we're not going to do. B, because usually my R would start down here at the red line. But if I go down to the red line and then back up, B, E, this is the mess I end up with. Okay, and that's not how I want my B to end. I end up with this extra kind of shape in here. It looks messy. Okay, if I don't go all the way back down and instead I just try to stay on the dotted line, that's even harder. I end up with this weird block. That is not an R, that's a weird block. The right way is somewhere in the middle. Down, around, I'm running out of room, V, E. Great opportunity to erase and try again or use slates. When we get done with this, you're going to think of other words that we could have used. Try those words on your own. You do not just have to use the ones on this page. This is just what I need you to turn in. You can use any words that you come up with where we're connecting some of these letters. O-R, O-R. O, R. This one I think is a little easier after trying B-R. Let's jump down and look at shore. Our loop off of the O is a little easier to work with. S, H, up and over, R, E. S, H, up and around. Comes down a little bit, but not all the way. R, E. O, R, E. Uh-oh, what did I do? If you try to come all the way down from that O, you're going to end up with something weird. So make sure you're staying close to the dotted, but not straight across the dotted line. The more you practice, the more you're going to find a spot that looks right. Two more. We've got O, S. O, S, remember our S has a point on the top. We're going to connect to the line and come back out. 
So the only real difference with this S is that we're not going to connect down here by the red line. We're going to connect up here on our side stroke. But if you remember that the S needs to be a closed shape, this one isn't too complicated. I know it's up, I know it's different, but we need our S to be a closed shape. So it makes sense in my brain to go all the way back up. See how this is an open shape? We want it to be a closed shape. All right, let's try it in a word. We've got toss. O, R, S, connects and comes back out, connects and comes back out. We are connecting in two different spots, but we are always connecting. T, O, S, S. And even just these two S's, they look very different. They are both the correct S shape, but this one's more up and down because it's not coming from a funky letter like O. T O S S. T O S. Okay, so this one is kind of easy for my hand to get used to. I just need my eyes to see that these are both S's, even though they do not look identical. Last one is W-S, and it looks like our practice word is claws. W-S, W-S, one, two, three, point, Close the shape, come back out. One, two, three. Still need our point, so I can't go straight across the dotted. Touch, back out. One, two, if I go straight across, we end up with this rounded shape and we need a point. Claws up and over. L A W S. L stays above the dotted. A one, two, three. Don't go down, just go a little to the side. S. C O A. One, two, three. All parts touching. Don't go straight across, don't go all the way down. Make sure your S has its point. Touch out. Okay, awesome job with whatever you did today. This was a little tricky, I think, because we weren't working on just one letter, but we're kind of working on making all of our letters better and seeing how they look in real words. You will be submitting this page 87 today to wrap up. And next time I see you, we're going to continue with some practice. So no new letters next time either. We'll be practicing letters and words, it looks like. Hey, okay, awesome job today, guys. Thank you so much.